Hello, in this video we're going to talk about symmetric matrices. So a matrix is symmetric if and only if A equals A transpose. So let's take a look at an example. So here's a matrix A and this matrix has three rows and three columns. So we'll start off one, two, three in the first row. The next row will be two, five, zero and the third row will be three, zero, seven. And the question, is this symmetric or not? Okay, so let's find a transpose. If we compute a transpose, we find that our first column is one, two, three, second column two, five, zero, and the third column is three, zero, seven. And so now the question is, does A equal A transpose? And the answer is yes, A equals A transpose. And so we say that A is symmetric. Now another way to see this symmetry is that if you look at the main diagonal and you look at elements that are partnered up across the main diagonal, um, we need those elements to be the same in order to have symmetric. So notice that the two and the two, there's some symmetry over that main diagonal, similarly with the threes and the zeros. This idea of taking A and A transpose, that's a quicker check and that's a quick check for the computer to do, um, but the symmetry, the word symmetric is, com is very much coming from the symmetry over the main diagonal. Okay, so let's take a look at a theorem. Um, this theorem says the following. Let A and B, let A and B be symmetric matrices of the same size. Okay, and the claim is that the product A times B, A times B is symmetric if and only if, and we sometimes see that written with the double arrow signifying the biconditional, but I'll write it if and only if. I'll put the double arrow in there just to remind us that this is a biconditional. So if and only if A times B equals B times A. In other words, the product AB is symmetric if and only if the matrix, matrices commute under multiplication. Okay, so let's take a look at our proof. For this proof, we need to do a proof in two directions. So the first direction here, we need to assume that A times B is symmetric. Okay, so we'll assume this side and what we'll need to prove or what we need to show is that A times B equals B times A. Okay, so we've assumed that AB is symmetric by definition of symmetric. This implies that AB is equal to the transpose. And by properties of transpose, um, this implies that properties of transpose, let's write this down, this implies that AB is equal to B transpose times A transpose. And again, by definition of symmetric matrices, right, A and B are both symmetric, so now on that right hand side, B transpose, that's the same as B, and A transpose, that's the same as A. Great, so we've We've done our proof for one direction, now we need to go in the other direction, so let's do that. So this is an if and only proof, we need to go in both directions. So now we're going to prove the converse, namely we're going to assume that AB equals BA and what we want to show is that AB is symmetric. Okay, so let's assume 
that a times b equals b times a. Okay. So let's take a look at this. What this means is that a b transpose well, if we just take the transpose on both sides, that means that that's equal to B A transpose. Okay, but by properties of the transpose, that means that this is equal to A transpose B transpose. And we're pretty much done. Once we get to this stage, we know that A transpose is the same as A because A is symmetric and similarly for B. So this shows that AB transpose is the same as AB and by definition this shows that AB is symmetric. Go back and review what we were doing. We assumed that the matrices commuted under multiplication and we wanted to show that AB was symmetric and we did do that. So that completes our proof.